We're going to learn a couple of things on this short video. We're going to learn how to get started day two, perhaps, of a border that we're using line pattern. So, the first thing I'm going to do is zoom full. And we can see that the border is all on the thing. screen. Uh -huh. And this is where we've already done stitched. So we know that our next diamond is going to be this one right there. So we're going to realign the quill. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to touch right where I want to realign between these two diamonds. Continue. But I didn't set the reference point, so here we go. I zoomed in between the two and I did not set the reference point. Turn the zoom off. Here's the reference point. It's a little tricky sometimes, so be patient and get your red bullseye right on that. I think that's close enough. And continue. Move the needle now, and it's telling us that on the screen. Move the needle to that reference point, meaning on the quilt. So right where I left my thread tails, I'm gonna move my needle there and say, okay. And we're ready to pull this pattern in. So I'm going to touch Add Edit Pattern, Add Pattern, and Line Pattern. The default would have been 2 inches. We've already adjusted our height to 5.043. I'm going to take it back to 2 just in case you've never done it. It'll let you see. Touch OK to start the pattern. Pull it down. When you can't see it, tap your Zoom, Open, and Close, and you'll be able to see the whole screen what you're working on. Now touch height and you can adjust the pattern to match what you just laid out in your quilt map. And I moved my angle, so there we go. And there's our width. Okay, so we're gonna sew that now, finished. I don't want to delete any of my saved patterns because I haven't finished the quilt. Sew quilt. We're going to sew just that pattern, so zoom out a bit so you can make sure that you're not selecting your map, which would be this entire section. If this has turned green also, just go back and tap this until you, this one stays blue and this one turns green. Continue and sew quilt. IQ's moving to the start point of the pattern. She dropped the needle. I'm going to floss out my bobbin thread. So I just, just like I floss my tees, I'm just going right under there and there's the bobbin thread. It comes right up. I'm going to sew this diamond. Sure, we're going to sew this diamond. I think we were in preview. So cool. She's back at the start point. We've got the thread. It dropped the needle again, so go ahead and pull your bobbin thread up again. You'll have a mess underneath. Continue. Start. at the end of the pattern my preferences have been set to do the security stitches for me so I'm ready to tie off here I'm going to push my machine away and it's dragging my needle thread as well as my bobbin thread underneath I'm going to grab this top thread and make a V come back 
I'm going to move your camera. <laughs> Come back to the beginning point and single stitch. When I push my machine away, there's the bobbin thread on top. Before I release on my, with my left hand, I'm going to grab all the threads with my right hand and snip them off. So now we don't have any cleanup to do on the back of the quilt when we get to the end of the quilt. Just a couple, of, a good job just quit recording and I didn't know. couple of tips for the day. Thank you.